Hello everyone, Ryan here, and I'm back with another NHL 24 Be A Pro Career Mode Series video, and Orion Gamer and this Chicago Blackhawks team is coming off a huge overtime victory last week, and we're looking to start a little win streak and make a late season push towards the playoffs. Today, we'll be facing off against the Calgary Flames in Calgary tonight, and this is a Calgary team who's sitting 26, 18, and 4 in the season. 10th in the NHL, while we are sitting 31st in the NHL, we have a record of 19-28-2. So it's a tough team we're facing off against today, but at this point in the season, Ryan Gamer has 49, or has played 49 games, has 24 goals, 28 assists, 52 points on the season. The awesome part about those 24 goals, that places Ryan 7th in the NHL, as a leading goal scorer. We are top 10 in the leading goal scoring in the NHL. Like that is huge. So we need a huge win streak. Thank you all for all the support here on this series. I usually post these on Saturday morning and this series has become a staple on Saturday mornings here on the Gamer Builder YouTube channel. So thank you for being here and always keeping this series going. I have a blast each and every Saturday and thank you to you all for being a part of that. If you get some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more. And it is time to play some high-level hockey today. Ryan Gamer is now the head coach of the Kentucky Wildcats in a new college football dynasty mode series on the channel. We also got your traditional career mode for the road to glory for college football 25. And that is Ryan Gamer's brother, Rhett Gamer, the quarterback for the Minnesota Golden Gophers. And I just recorded an episode for that right before I'm starting this one. And let me tell you, make sure you check out the next few episodes in that Road to Glory series. It is fantastic, but it is time to play some hockey. Let's take down this Calgary Flames team tonight. We need a big time win streak here. It starts one game at a time, one goal at a time. We don't need to get fancy and we need our goalies to really show up tonight. I'm always fired up. Let's go, Chicago. Now, the question is, do I remember how to play hockey? Oh. Uh, we'll see. Good hit, Ryan. Good hit. Come on. Jones has it in the defensive end. I don't like that pass, but this is a sloppy game for both teams so far. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Some good stick work to force that turnover. The Blackhawks gain possession. Sends the puck across. Great pass. One too many passes, but that was a cool play. Shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Ryan Gamer always going for the extracurricular activity, but that was a great, some great passing there at the end. But that first shift was all over the place for this line. It was sloppy hockey from both first lines here. Whenever, whenever Anderson is in net, they score first every time. And our team never scores first. But th that changes tonight. I mean, that doesn't change tonight. But we're winning with Anderson behind the net tonight. I have a good feeling. That was an incredible glove save. That was incredible. Like, he flashed that glove up there so quick. Johnson's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Sends the pass over. You gotta figure he knows about this next milestone. He's only one goal away. Too much congestion in front. Picked up along the board. What are we one goal away from? Slides it over to Manjapani. Moves the puck along the half wall. Moves it quickly over. 25 goals. Yeah, that was a good heads up read to make that save. Makes the save with the glove. Scooped up along the wall by Kadri. And look at this. They've turned this offensive end into a pressure cooker. Takes possession of the puck. Corralled 
Block pass that looked like a shot. Makes the save. Intercepted. Looking for options along the outside. Oh, big hit on the play. Takes the puck here in the ozone. Quickly over to Anderson. There's a save. It is loud tonight in Calgary. Coach, coach is yelling for Ryan. Get off the ice. Okay, coach. You know, solid shifts here to start the night. Solid shifts. We've had two shifts so far in the first period. They're up 1-0. Let's play some hockey. Okay, here we go. They're Best going to the young rookie. Right now being had on the bench they have a the sustained the pressure. Okay, well, we got you, coach. The team doesn't have anything going for them. You got to do something different. So the coach is turning to the rookie. And often I disagree about pressure. I feel like we've been getting pretty good pressure. But... And this coach is asking the rookie to do it. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Calgary's ahead, 1-0. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. The Blackhawks carry it along the wall. Ooh, good hit. Slip feed. Down the right side and into the zone. Can't hang on to the puck after Nobody saw up. that. Don't rewind it. Oh, why did Ryan fall down and his teammate? Oh, I don't know. That was embarrassing the for Ryan and Johnson on that one. I can never say anything about Anderson again. He just up. saved Ryan there. That was terrible defense. We were supposed to cover for the defender, and I just kind of just kind of sit there. Ryan Gamer and Taylor Hall from the same team are both leading the league in hits by a long shot. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. The Blackhawks gain the zone. Shot, put it off the post. The Blackhawks are behind in the game and a lost opportunity. We there. almost made that. You got to bury that. I like what they're doing, James. They're driving, they're attacking, and if they continue to do what they're doing, they'll cash in. That's how you cover for the defense, Ryan. Chicago's got the puck in the defensive end. Here we go, on man rush. Not the greatest shot. The crowds were yelling about something. They wanted an offsides, I think. Late goings of this period. We got a one-nothing game to this point. Was that pressure enough pressure for you, coach? Coach is never impressed with Ryan Gamer. Did you hear that one fan? Let's go Flames! This first period. They've had multiple scoring opportunities and as a result have the lead. Here's a chance in front! Scores! That was incredible. For you. New game. Yeah, certainly is, James. And who's going to come out on top by the beginning of this face-off? You want to be able to get that puck in the offensive zone and find a way to continue to attack. That was probably the best pass I've seen in this game. Officials getting ready to drop. Is this the same Chicago Blackhawks team out there tonight? <laughs> I mean, it's so nice when you don't have to touch the puck. Watch Johnson. Oh, that was a shot. I thought he passed it. That was a shot for rebound off the pat. That's all. Not all. Paul made that play, though. We have to give Johnson credit for that beautiful spin and then quick backhand off the blocker. And then he knocks it in. Paul just played. Look at the hands there. That was fantastic. That's how you play hockey, everybody. Right there. That's how you play. 1-1 one, one hockey game. Let's start a little win streak here. Come on, Ryan. The Flames win the draw here in the neutral zone. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Chicago's got a hold of it against the wall. Looking to set up offensively. Paul's on the attack in the offensive zone. That knocks him off. Hit him, Ryan. Angles it over to Huberto. Long pass across the ice. Anderson's got the puck. Sends the pass down low. And he slides it quickly to Uyghur. Here's a chance. And that's stopped. 
I get so nervous every time any opposing team shoots. And that pass attempt is deflected. A little good, good recovery, Jones. But probably shouldn't have turned it over. The product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. Let's go! You take the hit. in a minute 50, James. Anybody who just got up for a quick snack is probably looking at the scoreboard going, what happened? Well, don't blink. The game can change in an instant. Absolutely. What an assist. Great pass. Ryan took well, a, a really shot. Tough break for the tender, James. I mean, listen, when structure breaks down and there's all kinds of stuff going on in front of you, you can't track, you can't get your eyes on the puck, and it winds up in the back of your net. Beautiful shot. Johnson's, Johnson and Hall and Ryan are on the same page tonight. I can tell you that right now. Let's take a look at this replay breakdown. Ryan Gamer plays this beautifully. Johnson feeds it to Ryan. Ryan outskates the opponents and then takes a big time shot right there, but feeds it over to Johnson. And Johnson just beautifully sees fight. He fakes him into this. Watch him. He grabs it. He cuts and just shoots it right through the five hole like it's nothing. What an incredible goal here for this team. I'm going to pause the video, take a screenshot, but what a play. Okay, so I want to just show you all the hit. We saw the pass. We saw the shot. Watch this hit. We need to remember number 52 and 37. So number 52 crushes us, and the 37 knees us right in the back. Ryan Gamer just got sandwiched. Big time hits. Like, I mean, look at this full speed collision. Oh, that's painful right there. Now, yeah, Ryan got up like it was nothing and started celebrating. 52, 37. Are you all thinking what I'm thinking? Maybe, maybe, a, maybe a fight here later? Well, I really like the way they've competed here, James. They get the go ahead goal, but they got to find a way to continue. That's a attack. good assist, play though. With killer instinct, especially when there's so much time left. And look, 2-1 two, two now. That is huge. That's right. That was, that That's was, I remember the, one, the go before that. We are playing some hockey. 2-1 lead here. Let's take a look at this. 16 shots to 10. 9 hits to 8. They are out shooting us, but look at the scoreboard. That's the main thing that matters, and we didn't have a penalty at all. Wow. No, we did have one penalty. It said they didn't have a penalty. And the official seems about Let's play some hockey. So this Saturday, you're going to see a lot of Ryan Gamer content here on the channel. You're going to see a It Will Be The Show episode today. It Will Be The Show episode 62 with It Will Be The Show episode 63 drop, drop in tomorrow morning. So doubleheader weekend for baseball. I know it's been a while since the last baseball episode. And then you'll see college football later this evening. That was a dirty hit. I can't believe we didn't get a penalty. And then another college football episode tomorrow afternoon. It was open. Calgary's working hard in all areas of the ice. Defense is structure and it needs to happen in all. I can't believe we got that. Talking about stick positioning, they're doing a great job of taking away passes. And reads the play perfectly and picks off the pass. Okay, I can see why Hall, Hall is second in hits. Did you all see that hit? Zone. Coach wants us to leave. He's always yelling at Ryan to get off the ice. Get off the ice, Ryan. Okay, Coach. 2-1 hockey game. There's plenty of time left. We just got to, got to play three periods, and we know we're going to allow about four goes a game. 2-2 two -two hockey game. Yeah, I still love, I love this series so much. I look forward to Saturdays. Johnson's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. Grabs the puck at center. Quick pass to Hall. Denies him in close. What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Makes a move and the puck hops away. I think an interference could have been called back there. Our teammate tripped him. Johnson. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. He, he did not need to do that. We've done it plenty of times, so. the feet of his opponent, and guess what? He gets the tripping call. Guys, we know this penalty kill unit is ranked towards the bottom of the league, but they've got a Our penalty kills ranked towards the bottom? It'd be much worse if Ryan was out there. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. It's in his contract. He cannot play the penalty kill. 
Patrice won the draw here. And That's back at their attack. own net. <laughs> That's a bold strategy. Moves it to Benjapani. Paul does it again. He's insane. That shot was open. If he shot it left. To your team and this goaltender, he bails his team out. How many hits is that for Hall tonight? Probably like five, and they've all been big hits. Chicago's got the puck inside the offensive zone. If we shoot that in the air. It was open. Makes his is that Hall again? Nice. No. Quick feed to Manjapani. And he takes the feed. Good play, good play. The Blackhawks have it now. And sends it just out of reach. Ryan, what were you doing on that one? <laughs> and that's broken up. It's a great pass. Ryan just Handles didn't want it. Moves it quickly over to Ryan. Calgary's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Dumps it in. I don't know how I was trying to shoot it and clearly Ryan lost the puck somehow. Take it across the line. Fires it into the offensive zone. I attempted to slow down. Penalty coming up here. The Flames move the puck in the defensive zone. Moves it to the middle. I attempted to slow down. Didn't I? Didn't I? Everybody has their own unique way of attempting to slow down. Ryan, Ryan's hard to see from a referee standpoint. <laughs> Did he slow down? Oh! And that's poked away by Huberto. No. No, he did not. But they did not score on it. Everything's fine. We're back on the ice. Good save. When that shot came quick and it was right out front, he had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Good shot. I like it. You know, I'm proud of Anderson. Anderson heard the feedback that the players may play better when Mrazic's in net. Anderson heard that, and he's locked it in tonight. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defense. With our zone. defense, you gotta be awake as a goalie. There's a prime example. What a poke check. Johnson, don't get too fancy. Johnson just rocked his role. Coach told us to leave. He's yelling at us. If we would have stayed, we could have been aggressive on the four check. We, we have a tied first two periods. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. You all know what's important to point out, though. How many tie games have you all seen in this entire career mode after the first two periods and then they score like five? If we would have played all three periods the start of the season for like the first 30 games, we would be sitting possibly in the wild card spot. We have not, though. And they are out shooting us big time. Anderson is dominating in net. 29 shots to 16. We... Did we have six shots that period? Passing was terrible. Time and attack was terrible. What was our team doing that period? Sitting in the penalty box is what we were doing. <laughs> okay. We got to be better than that. Players are set. Officials are set. Third period. Final period. Let's play some hockey. The next goal. Tries to feed it over to Ryan. The Blackhawks are on the attack. Shot. Oh, this is why. I didn't see the passes open. I thought it seemed too risky. We passed by getting hit. No, no, no. It should have gave me a fight option there. I'm mad now. 
And it's a quick pass to Severson. You don't hit my teammate like that. I can tell you that right now. And the puck stopper you do not hit the our teammate into our, into the bench. Lots of hockey left to be played in this we period. have a B minus overall. And B across the board. You love to see it. Ryan Gamer's brother, Rhett Gamer, is in college right now, playing football for the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Has a great GPA. So has like a 3.6 or 3.8 right now. He's really dialing in on the books. But he did get straight C's on uh, quizzes one time, or maybe that was midterms. But he really turned it around. Yeah, you've got to study in college football 25. Uh, goalie. Goalie trapped Ryan in the net there. Can we get a penalty? Are you allowed to trap a player in the net as a goalie? <laughs> that's new. Not sure that's in the rule books. The Blackhawks have it against the wall. Quick pass to Hall. Takes it to the front with the stop. Puck is frozen and we get a stoppage in play. Number 52. Ryan tried to get a fight there with 52. 52 said no. What are they saying? You can feel the energy Let's go, Flames. It's a tie game. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Right up Main Street and on the attack. They have to play better defense than that. He should not get that shot off. Punish them when they come into the ice that slow. Towards the dot here as we got a face off set to go. And off the draw, they win possession. Quick feed to Ryan. Oh, he hammered him. Oh, he knew exactly what he was doing going into this along the boards, James. I love well, you can't do that or you're going to find your way marching over to the box. And he gets a chunk of that to keep it out. Ryan's getting two for an unsportsmanlike. I'm going to sink down in my chair. <laughs> oh, unsportsmanlike? No, I don't think so. I wouldn't. Ryan wants to fight. Look. <laughs> I was mad after that hit. You gotta let see. Ryan has to do a better job at controlling his emotions on the ice. Here's a clearing attempt from their own end. 52. If you're gonna hit me like that, you better, you better also fight. Like 52 is like, no, I don't want it. Ryan's trying to do everything. They didn't score. It's okay. It's okay. That's too funny. Back to even strength here, and we are still tied. Unsportsmanlike. I, I don't know about all that, Coach. Coach says, get off the ice, right? Good news, they didn't score, so maybe it got our team fired up. Undisciplined play, though. I gotta be smarter than that. I wanted to fight after when you hit me like that. Gets me flustered. Incredible play there, James. That was incredible defense. Line, finds the puck and could have lost it, but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. I believe 52 is not going to fight. Get in there. And how good Take that. that. You can see the selling. The energy is certainly there. And now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Ryan says, Take that, Flames. He stared right at 52 after that assist. Paul did too. They skated right to the bench, stared at him. What a shot. What a pass and what a shot. We got to have our replay breakdown for that goal. Ryan's playing mad right now. I can tell you that. Ryan is so frustrated that not only did he get penalized, number 52 would not fight him after giving him a just a huge dirty hit. And Ryan feeds it over to Hall like it's nothing. And Hall, just a beautiful slap shot. Not slap shot, snap shot. A little wrister right off the pads there. Straight into the back of the net. That is how you play, everybody. That is how you play hockey. Do you want to win or do you want to lose? If you want to win, you got to play all three periods. Ryan made a mistake with that penalty. It shouldn't have happened. Let his emotions get to him. That happens in hockey. 
but bounce back with a huge assist. We got the goal. We have the lead now. Let's hold it. Lock it down on defense. Deadlock and gone in front by a goal here in period number three. Now what do you do? Do you attack? Do you sit back? What do you do here, Cheryl? Well, I think that you attack. I, I mean, if the puck's in the offensive zone, guess what? They're not getting any scoring. That's tripping, chances. right? They're not going to even the score. But if you sit back, Johnson, you have to protect the legend. middle of the ice. You don't want to give up any grade-A scoring chances right now. So to me, it's all about attack mentality with some good Listen habits. to him, boo. Yeah, guys, this power play B is like across the board. I think we should have an A in and offense. Two assists. Space and time, they can have some high danger chances. And let's see what happens here on the first one of the night. To assist, I feel like we should be an A, but. Sharon Kovic is ready for the draws. They will oh, we have the power play. Off this 47 seconds left of it. 3 2 game. Got the win off that draw. Handles the puck. Chicago's got the puck. Come on, team. Come on. And now it's to Ryan. You gotta love these moments within a game, James. It's tight. The game really hasn't opened up. You gotta play free, but you have to play responsible as well. Play responsible, Ryan. You hear that? Have it in the offensive zone. And the puck's moving away. Here's a short pass to Anderson. Got 10 seconds. Shillington's almost back on the ice. Severson stick handling in his own zone. The Flames with a huge penalty kill there. Timing is everything. 52. I am. I am game. tired of it. Power play. You know how important it is, and you don't deliver. Real frustrating for the entire group. And 37. Both of them. Chicago's got it along the wall. The Blackhawks gain control of it. Keeps a hold of the puck after that knock. Penalty coming up here. Did they do another one? A tough penalty to take as you're looking for the equalizer. You're in a one goal deficit and you got to find a way to generate offense, James. Real tough one to take. Let's go. The Calgary Flames are flustered right now. They are really struggling, making crazy penalties. Guys, this is such a huge opportunity for the power play right here. They're Put me in, coach. Top 10 in the league. And you know what? They're already up by one. But if they can score here, a win streak, they can put this game away. And it is all this one Cheryl at times it felt like they were chasing the puck we won they had it but yet here they we actually the won and that's exactly what can happen when you stay in a game James I mean you can feel like you're not playing well and you're chasing the game when you get it on your stick and you can counter attack with efficiency that's when you start to win games and maybe you don't earn them thanks so much for joining us we had a great time. 52 there's the hit the and then he wouldn't fight us good night he's scared He's seen Ryan the Punisher in the world of WWE. He doesn't want to face off against Ryan on the center ice. He's seen him here in NHL. But you hit us like that, you better be ready to fight, right? Look, coach loves us. Thank you, coach. What a game. This Chicago team, overtime thriller last game, and then we won the next one. A little win streak brewing. Oh, my. We got we to gotta win 10 in a row, though. Like, all seriousness. We got to win 10 in a row. Ryan Gamer has a two assist night. Our game, our, our game puck, game puck goes to the goalie. Anderson gets the credit. 37 shots. He saved 35 of them. That is phenomenal. And we had 21 shots and scored 31, uh, 31 of them, 30 of them, which is really good. We out hit them. Time and attack. We got outplayed. Passing, we got, we got outplayed. We got out face off every single game. We get out face off. We had way too many penalties, uh, but the scoreboard is what matters, right? They had 12 minutes worth of power plays and they were 0 for 6. We had so many penalties, but they were 0 for 6 on the power play. Wow. 0 for 6. Let's take a look at our team stats here. Ryan Gamer has a two assist night, but Johnson plays incredible. One go, two assists. Tyler Hall had two goes as well. Paul has been playing exceptional hockey and had huge hits there. Four hits. Ryan had five. Johnson had two. That line is just amazing. They're so physical on the ice there. And that is a B overall. B plus offense. B defense. B team play, which is really good. I think that the offense deserved an A, honestly, to assist. I know we had some, a few turnovers. A defense, a B. I know some of you are like, what? <laughs> yeah, that happened. So... We played good defense today. Yeah.
We, it may never happen again. That may be the last time this team actually plays good defense or that Ryan plays good defense. But when he does, we win hockey games. 3-2. That is a huge win. Like, I, I'm blown away with the way that team played and the way we've been playing lately. Well, these last two games. We just got to keep it up. Anderson locked in it. Wow. That, that was just amazing. I think Ryan Gamer's fired up about being the head coach of the Kentucky Wildcats. And what a dream start it's been for Ryan Gamer as head coach in the college fo football world. Leading the Kentucky Wildcats to a dream start. I don't want to give much away if you haven't seen that. I will link it in the description below. Or you can just find it on the channel page. Just go to the playlist section. It's been awesome. And then the Road to Glory series for college football is so much fun. And there's some amazing episodes coming up in that one. There's already been amazing ones, but just wait. It, it's it's amazing. The end of the season is epic. Thank you all for all the support here on Saturdays for this NHL 24 series. If you got some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps. Subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next one where we face off against Minnesota. We're 29th in the NHL now. They're 13th. We got to keep winning. We got to spark a 10-game win streak. Get back. Yeah, probably yeah, probably more like a 12-game win streak. So, yeah, it, it can happen. Hey, it can happen. We play like this, like we did tonight. We can go on a big win streak. We just got to do it each and every period from here on out. So, we can do that. So, I will see you all in the next one. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.